Hey everyone, I'm Vicky. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got my four-year-old for her birthday. So obviously we've got Christmas coming up quite soon, so hopefully this could give you some ideas for last-minute presents for your own little ones, or if you've got any birthdays coming up for your kids, then you should be able to get some inspiration here. So obviously she's a girl, but there are quite a few things here that work for boys or girls. And I've also tried to buy a couple of bits from like some small businesses which is really nice I think you're going to really really like the little bits that I got from some small businesses they're really really cute and I think particularly at the moment it's really good to try and um, support the small businesses in any way we can and obviously also there's some real gems in those small businesses um, that you can find some really really cool toys that like add something really different to what you give your kids so for her birthday obviously we haven't been able to have a big party so it's a shame but actually I think with kids the really nice thing is that they just enjoy what they have they kind of get distracted enough by the things that they have just the sheer excitement of it there being their birthday and them having presents to open that they don't get too bogged down with being upset about what they don't have so like a huge party with loads of family and friends and stuff so she's actually been like really cool about it the fact that she can't really do anything this year um, and she's just been really excited with the bits that she's got. We didn't get her any one big present, we more got her like a lot of varied different things. I think we probably spent about £150 maybe on gifts, which is probably a bit more than maybe I would have normally spent, but um, obviously she hasn't had a party this year. We took her out for pizza over the weekend but she hasn't had a party so that's kind of I guess a little bit of compensation for that really. Anyway, let's get on to the present. First up, I'm gonna share with you my favorite one. And this is from a small business called Mimi and Lula. They do beautiful like party goods and dressing up clothes for kids. So I got her this gorgeous tutu. I mean, just look at it. It's kind of a peachy pink color. I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of sparkle, dotty sparkles on it. At the front it's got a bow and it's got two stars hanging down from the bow so cute i just love it i love how puffy it is so yeah that's from a company called mimi and lula and i will link that in the description below because they've got tons of really nice dressing up stuff and we also got this from them how cute is that this little bat girl mask i just love it i would wear it myself if i wasn't worried that i would break it um, so yeah, it's got this little star on it. It's super sparkly um, and it literally just fits on with an elastic at the back. They've got various masks and dressing up things and like things like magic wands and stuff. I really, really do recommend you take a look at them because like the quality of um, the stuff that you get is really, really good. And just look at it. It's just really different. I haven't seen anything like that anywhere else. Um, so yeah, she's going to put on her tutu and put on her Batgirl mask and be like a Batgirl ballerina. Okay, so books are always a really, really important present for me, for the kids, personally. Like, I really, really like them to get them lots of books. So, this year, <laughs> she's had a book about suffrage. Happy birthday, here's a book about suffrage. Um, I love these Little People Big Dreams books. I've shared them on here before. Uh, they're just really nice. You get various different like figures through history like Stephen Hawking, more modern um, important figures in history like David Attenborough and it just talks about their childhood, how they got to where they are and what impact they've had on the world and I, it, it just does it and it deals with quite difficult issues like obviously suffrage and things like racism as well. It just deals with them in really simple terms. It doesn't shy away from the difficult subjects but it's it's it deals with it in a way that a child can deal with. So like my four-year-old loves these books. My five-year-old loves them too. Uh, we've got, this is probably like our seventh or eighth of these books. And I've got them another one for Christmas as well because I just love them so much. So as you can see, beautiful illustrations on the inside. Not too wordy. Um, they don't take ages and ages and ages to read. But dealing with really sensitive things in a really good way that's accessible for kids but also making like bits of history fun so like now I find that my kids know about people that are important in history like they, they talk about Martin Luther King they know who Martin Luther King is talk about Stephen Hawking they know who Stephen Hawking is they know like some of his big discoveries so I really really rate these books um, at the end you always get a little sort of real pictures of the person that the book is about at the end or illustrations depending on how long ago the person lived i really really rate these books you get them on amazon they're about 7.99 each and they are absolutely gorgeous so another book now and this one is called look inside seas and oceans it's a lift the flap book 
and I think it's just perfect if your little one is really into the sea and nature it's just a really really good choice so there's so much information in here it's a fact book it's not a story book it's facts about the ocean but it's just beautiful there's so much to it um, both my kids really like to sit up and read in bed at night so obviously my four-year-old can't read yet she's not quite there uh, my five-year-old can but um she'll look she'll happily go through this looking at the pictures and stuff at night even though she can't read the words yet she would enjoy going through that reading it having a look being able to lift up the flaps and peek at what's underneath and stuff um and as i said obviously i'll read it with her as well so many facts in here about the ocean it's just like a really pretty book next up so this is pretty much a gift that i would have wanted to get for my birthday when i was little i loved Polly pocket when i was little and um, they weren't this cool when i was little i'm sure they weren't this cool so this is a unicorn Polly pocket on the inside there were several surprises in um little packs so you open it up with this little pulley bit at the bottom here and inside as you can see there is just like a rainbow unicorn playground of fun really it's just packed with different surprises and things for your child to play with it's just fab um you've got a little castle there was confetti in there as well i don't know if you just saw some flying out there so little things like there's a little seesaw here for the little people to play on you get a little a little unicorn there you get little people oh, you've got to get a little poly pocket obviously with that so they can go in there and um, so many details like look a little um another little unicorn for them to ride on there is like swings and things so it kind of is like a unicorn castle playground there's a dragon and um, this is super cute so i think i ordered this one from argos i think you can also get them online at amazon so they're pretty widely available I will link it in the description below it's cute so it's got two people it's got two unicorns it's got a dragon and then it's got various little bits for your child to play with and um, it came with a little pink ring for her to wear which she's been wearing today tiny tiny little key all sorts of like little bits for them to explore here so i feel like there's hours of fun in here as long as we can keep it all together that's the only downside with toys like this i know from experience that over time the stuff just kind of goes missing do you know what i mean like it just gradually ends up in other places so we'll see about that but i think it's super cute we'll see if i can shut it again it's one of those ones where you have to get all the bits in exactly the right place in order to be able to shut it yeah it's pretty cool and it's got a carry handle on the top as well and the wings of the unicorn come out like that it's awesome. So next up is a really cool Play-Doh set that I got from a little company called Organised Chaos with Kids. I've ordered things from them before, so this is the second Play-Doh kit that I've ordered from them. And this one is a Christmas special, as you can see, so it's a snowman themed Play-Doh set. You get some white Play-Doh, you get some dark blue Play-Doh, you get like a cookie cutter shaped like a snowman, various little bits so that your child can cut out and build a snowman. What I love about these kits is that the Play-Doh is made with natural ingredients, it's non-toxic, she adds a, the lady who runs the business adds a scent to the Play-Doh as well. So it's very much a sensory experience. She tries to use like sustainable materials, so like you'll get little twigs in there. Um, the one I've had before was a forest one where you had like little hedgehogs and little sticks so that you could make a little forest land. They're really, really fun. She does various different play sets. So I do thoroughly recommend you check her out. She's got a really good Instagram page where you can look at all her different kits in action. And obviously she does have a website as well. I'll link both of those in description below. But these play kits that she makes, they are so cool. I really, really recommend them. There's something a bit different about them and the Play-Doh smells amazing so my daughter has been going on about having a skateboard for quite some time as well because her older sister has one so we've got her a skateboard that's very very similar to the one that her sister has this was from amazon it was pretty cheap i think it was around the 25 uh, 20 25 pound mark we also got her some knee pads and um, elbow pads that she can wear just to keep her safe if she's gonna um ride the skateboard outside just as she's learning so i'm sure she'll fall over here and there um, but she was really really keen to have a skateboard 
uh, just like her sister now they've got one each and I think the purple colour looks really really cute as well so next up we've added to her Sylvanian Families collection actually this was a present that came from my mum I think this one wasn't from us so it's a Sylvanian Families party collection and you get a table four chairs and various bits of party food two party hats some party decorations I love the detail on the Sylvanian Families toys I think they're really really good so you can see the detail on the little pizza and on the cake and on the little sandwiches it is really really detailed and it just like really sparks great imaginative play I had Sylvanian families when I was little so obviously you know I'm kind of like walking down memory lane when I play with their Sylvanian stuff with them but um, the Sylvanian family stuff is one thing that I find that actually they manage to play with together quite nicely. Some things descend into a bit of a row <laughs> with them. With the Sylvanian families, they kind of just like create this little world between the two of them when they're playing with it. So I think it's really nice to add to that collection and um, having a party one as well is very appropriate for her birthday. Next up, these lovely puzzles. This is one that my mum got for the kids. So these are a Ravensburger puzzle. They are um, Moana themed. You get three different puzzles. Obviously it says five plus on the box, but I kind of don't worry too much with things like that, with things like puzzles. Like it's gonna be safe for her to play with and yeah, she may need a little bit of help with it. But what's good about that is that because it's five plus, my older daughter can play with it as well. So yeah, you get five puzzles. You also get three sheets showing you what each puzzle is meant to look like. So this is really, really good if your kids are a big fan of the movie Moana. So this gift came from the online Disney store and it's a Little Mermaid themed gift. It's called um, the Animators Collection. And I think they also do a couple of others um, based on some of the other films as well, some of the other Disney classics. So the girls really, really love the Little Mermaid film. They've watched it a few times on Disney Plus. So it's a miniature little kind of castle from the Little Mermaid universe. And inside you get a few little characters and accessories. So you get a little Ariel, there's Flounder there, there's Sebastian the Crab. You get this little bit of coral here that some of them can stand on. And um, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me a bit of Polly Pocket, but with Disney characters. And they're just really cute. It's really cute the way um, you, the sort of carry case turns into a little castle for the characters to play in. I really, really like the detail on the little characters as well. I think if your kids are fans of these particular Disney movies, they will absolutely love them. As I said, so this is the Little Mermaid one. We've also got a Frozen version as well. The Frozen one is really cute. It's got an Anna and an Elsa and an Olaf. So I really recommend that. Sometimes these are available on the Disney store. Sometimes they go out of stock, in which case you can find them on eBay. So just in case you can't find these, but I will link to the actual Disney store. Okay, and the last present that I'm gonna show you guys is this super cute male egg mouse. So this is a Swan Lake male egg mouse. Um, I don't know if you've seen the male egg mouse mice before. Uh, I hadn't seen them until a few weeks ago when I was browsing on um, Instagram and I saw someone had bought them as a gift for one of their kids. I just thought they were really sweet. They're like really diddy. Um, they come in like little match boxes that you can tuck them into at night when, you're going, when your kid is going to bed themselves. And they're just really sweet and the detail on their outfits and stuff is really nice. So this one is meant to be a Swan Lake ballerina. I think it's really lovely and she was really, really pleased to get it. Um, it's just a nice, slightly different soft toy to get them. And again, it's something that sparks a bit of imaginative play doesn't take up too much space which is a plus as well um, and I've actually got the kids a couple more Mayleg mice e each um, for Christmas so I will link to an online store where you can get those um, they can be they're quite easy to find there's various different online stores that do sell them but they're not like widely available in every single toy retailer so I'm going to link in the description below to a place that does sell them um, like quite a big variety of them uh, the male egg company they also do um, like bunnies as well but for me personally I really really love the little mice I think they're super cute okay guys that is what I got my four-year-old for her birthday I really really hope that you got some gift inspiration from this video um, good luck with your Christmas shopping hopefully this gave you a few ideas um, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next upload bye